Hello and welcome to my quick test of the Sony ZV-1F paired with the ECM G1 gun microphone, which I test both on the camera and also via the microphone input on the side of the camera, the standard stereo jack. Camera's got a great flip out screen, which also rotates around for your selfie mode. I do indoor recording um, for nostalgia related topics, mostly retro gaming and computers and systems from my childhood. Um, so that's really what I'm going to be using this camera for. So it really is just a replacement of my mid-range phone, a Nokia um, 5.4, which I used to take this opening footage, by the way. Um, and that's what this is. It's just a, a slight upgrade to that, um, hopefully giving me much better footage going forwards. Hey, okay, excuse the glasses, I just want to keep an eye on the screen. Um, this is a quick test of the, or a quick demonstration of the Sony ZV-F1. Uh, now keep in mind that since I bought this camera, there is a Mark II that's come out. Um, I'm aware that that has better features, possibly even a proper optical zoom. I'm not too sure on that. Um, so that's another camera you may want to research and it's more expensive than this one. And what I do also have on this camera is the CM, whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> you would have heard about it in the intro, the microphone as well. You are currently hearing me through the camera's inbuilt microphone, not the external microphone. Now, a quick explanation. Um, I'll, I'll do the explanation actually when I plug in the microphone. So what you're hearing right now is the camera's microphone without the dead cat on it. Um, and the lighting is just the lights in this room. It's an overcast day here in Perth, um, late afternoon, um, and one curtain is open. So just explaining the ambient light, but I've got uh, three light bulbs in a central light just there behind the camera. Often I will use an, an extra light, um, but I'm just sort of painting a realistic scenario for how most people would probably use this camera, possibly without any extra lighting rather than what's available in the room. And this is what it sounds like without an external microphone. Um, I will now plug in the CMG, whatever the hell it's called. Um, so you can hear that. Okay, so the uh, Sony external or the gun mic is now plugged in and that's what you're hearing. And what you should be able to distinctly hear is the fact that the audio is just that little bit less echoey and cleaner. What I'm gonna quickly do is just walk around so you can hear how directional this microphone is because it is actually very directional. So bear with me. And if I just walk around the microphone, I'm a little bit to the, I'm gonna keep a constant volume. So I'm a little bit to the left of the camera now. I am now behind the camera. Uh, this is what it sounds like behind the camera. And I am now to the right of the camera and I'm moving back around in front of the camera. It's a very directional microphone. I'll also quickly insert a bit of footage, interview to footage for the last uh, um, meet. So this is a very good example of using this exact same microphone on an extended audio cable for interview purposes. And it also emphasizes how directional the microphone is. Best bit of tonight, what was it? Everything. Really good seeing this whole group. Look at this group of people here. How many did we get? 16. Must be over 60. Must be at least 200. So there we go. I am new to this camera, um, but just to let you know, um, a bit of overlay here, just to explain that even though this microphone it was the suggested one for the bundle with this camera, the microphone itself comes with a special connector on the shoe, but the camera does not have the connector for that. So you have to use the audio cable. I did not realize this initially so keep an eye out for that it's the more expensive cameras in the sony range that have the special connector that essentially let that intelligent foot take over the audio controls of the camera completely so do be aware of that didn't really affect my intended usage because my intended usage was to be on an extended audio cable for interviewing purposes as part of what i want to do with this camera um, but it was a little bit disappointing but yet, even when mounted on top of the camera, you need to use the audio jack to use the external microphone. 
which in all honesty means that opens up your options for which microphone you choose. Personally, if I'd have known that, I would have potentially actually bought a lapel mic because I could make use of that in both scenarios. I, I probably would have opted for that. Um, but actually, I like this gun mic. It is actually very good for my purposes in terms of what I do, which we'll get onto soon. Before we do that, just a couple of other quick features. I'm gonna move closer to the camera here, and I'm just gonna push a button up here, which should very subtly blur the background. There we go, so that's a defocus background. And if I press it again, it will make the background clear. That's a nice feature, I like that. And if I come out of that mode completely, cancel that, that's fine. There is also a product focus mode, which for some reason it's now not letting me into. So I'm gonna stop and start again. Okay, I think it was actually in product focus mode, so that's fine. Um, I'm now out of product focus mode, so let's defocus the background. Just another take on that. And then focus it again. And what it's on at the moment is it's, it's tracking my eyes. So wherever I go, the camera will focus on me. So that's fine. I'm gonna put it back in product focus mode and show that to you. Okay, so we're in product focus mode and what that means is the camera should focus on myself, my face, until I hold up a product and then it will automatically focus on the product. And you can see here I purposely picked up a Spectrum cassette because that's quite a small product with very small print on the back. And so long as I am conscious to get rid of the reflections, um, you can even see the screenshots and stuff there. That's quite nice. And when I pull it away, the camera will autofocus back on me. Now, if like me, you, you, you like to keep in mind rule of thirds, um, do um, keep in mind that the camera is looking for the center of the picture as the point of focus. Um, so if you're off to one side and you put your product off to one side, it's not necessarily gonna pick it up straight away. You're gonna have to bring it into the center view and then you can sort of pull it back and, and you're pretty much okay if you do it that way. An alternative way, and I haven't really played about with this feature, is you can do zone focusing via the touch screen, it's just like a mobile phone. So that's another option available to you as well on this camera. Next, I'm going to, along with the inbuilt mic, uh, well, the microphone on top of the camera via the audio cable, just have a look at what a bit of gameplay footage might look like, because that's predominantly going to be my use of this camera, It's talking about games and playing games. So let's do that next. Okay, so to do this, I'm just gonna play about with some features. I've got it on spot focus, and I'm touching on the screen, and I can also mess about with the iris. So I can bring that down a bit so that the screen becomes clearer. That's fine. And obviously I'm gonna be darker. That's always gonna be the nature of that. Um, two options available to you. One is reduce the brightness on the screen that you're focusing on. Um, and the other one is just, you know, understand that the other things in view are going to be darker or that's where I may add a, an extra light maybe one on my face um, that kind of thing you know this isn't where I put it but if my face was lit then the screen being lit as well that changes things I'm not actually gonna light myself properly today because I'm trying to avoid migraines. But there you go, I could light my face as well as having the screen uh, visible by reducing the, um, the exposure on the camera as well. Just a bit of a tip for you. Not, not, not specific to this, to this camera. And you'll be picking up now how the, the audio does change when I turn away from the camera, obviously. Let's bring up a game. Volume's about where I would have it. You're in focus, yeah, you're in view. Well, are you in focus? I don't know. Let 
Now that that's up, I'm actually going to bring that back up because I, th I think a little bit of bleaching is, is not necessarily a bad thing. There we go. Now this camera does have a, va a zoom on it, but it's not a massive zoom. It's literally that. So to be honest, even though this video will go up in 4K unless stated in the footage, I will actually, um, generally I will actually put out in 1080p. Um, any background audio you're getting, by the way, it is raining here, so keep that in mind. It's just started raining now, so you might be picking that up. Um, I will generally put out in 1080p, um, and then, but I'll record in 4K so that I can zoom in with no quality loss. There you go, so before I get carried away playing a game, that's a very quick test for my usage of this Sony ZV-1F, F1, whatever it's called, with the gun mic on. I like the setup, but in all honesty, my final thoughts are this. Um, my usage case is, I've been recording everything on a mid-range phone, a Nokia 5.4, only records in 1080, and it has its limitations. The most important thing is, you know, you can get away with a phone like this so long as you add additional lighting and you're aware of audio. And as you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of using the audio. I don't care having headphones plugged in, look stupid, but the audio is fine. And if that's your position, then I think this range of camera is fine. It's going to vastly improve the quality that you get. However, if you've already got a high-end phone um, and you're looking for better quality footage, I would argue that all you need to do is think about your framing and your lighting and your audio. And if you really want to up the quality from there, then I would suggest you look at the more expensive camera ranges. Sony do some that I was tempted by, but they're a good few hundred dollars more than I spent on this, where you've actually then got interchangeable lenses and stuff like that. So I would look into that level of product um, rather than this. But if you're in the same position as me, you've got a mid-range phone and you don't really want to buy a new phone, you'd rather buy a dedicated camera. And there is a lot to be said for having a dedicated camera, then that's fantastic. I would, you know, look at this range of phone or the Mark II, which has just come out. So there we go, very quick indoor test of the Sony ZV-1F V1 CMG blah blah thing. And lastly, had to do a bit of testing of, obviously, what it's like with the CRT, and I haven't had to set anything. That's just liking it. Um,